got the salad. Okay, we're at uh, Occupy Honolulu at Thomas Square. We have uh, different areas going on. We have our arts area down here. How's it going, guys? Not much. You streaming, just letting everybody know what all we got going on out there. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I walked through them all. <laughs> but uh. But yeah, Lalani got arrested. Yeah. Do we know what her bail is? So we can go get Not yet. Yeah. 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 We got people over there. So. Uh, uh, Karen. So, yeah, we'll find out. Huh? Okay. Cool deal. Cool deal. All right, I'm gonna make my rounds real quick. <laughs> And we got Orin. Yeah, I'm I'm you streaming you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, take yeah, yeah. Take your big old camera. Mine's well, operational. Like, oh, no, no, mine's operational now. See, I'm getting all of this. No, you got a you got a cap. No, no, I, I no, it's still operational. It's always yeah, it, it, it's a, it's a cap, we dude. Actually in HD. <laughs> Is Bo here? No, I, I, no, I was gonna bring them, but you weren't here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're setting up our uh, stage for the bands, and uh, we're gonna have live music in that. And then uh, over here, you can see we got some people, uh, other people, just kind of hanging out where the food area is and uh, some shade. And uh, good to see you, man. But, uh, yeah, we got a nice uh, arrangement. Donations in there. Some of our signs. It's a good sign. It's not like we're in America anymore. So, in Hawaii, you're not really in America. But as long as we can like provide that space for each other, right? And a whole bunch of other, whole bunch of other signs. Hey, yeah, just want to give everybody a. Quick update. Not much, man. I'm I'm you streaming. I'll be right back with you. But uh, we definitely have. If you, I don't know if you can see. We got a lot of PD up there, and right at the very end corner, we got a whole bunch more. We got a lot of PD traffic here. <laughs> They're not uh, keeping us out of their sights. How's it going? Uh, she she was arrested. Um, we're waiting on the bail so we can uh, get her out. So, uh, well, we haven't even figured out how much it is yet, so we might be able to deal with it. You know, it just depends. You know, we got to find out. It shouldn't be much. I mean, it's not like uh, she did anything wrong. All she did was walk up and ask a question. And they yeah, stomped the on her. Yeah, they, they, they targeted her. They tar I mean, because everybody was right there with her. Yeah. And they didn't care about anybody else yeah. but her. Right. And, you know, but you know they monitor everything. Right. You know, like they already know my brother's name. Yeah. You know, they know everything about everybody here. So they, they monitor everything. And they, they knew she was mad about what happened. But with just, I mean, they come here with force and start beating on people and stealing stuff. Well, then what do you expect? So... Yeah. Well, both of them. 
You know, I mean, yeah, there was two yes, there was. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was the Hawaiian coat of arms. There was the Confine of the Hawaii banner. There was the Pacific Sustainability Bureau. Yeah, yeah, we had a, we had a bunch. So. That's just harassment for the sake of harassment. Oh yeah. Just, you know. That's more than harassment. The harassment is what they've been doing. They Wait, you you got to understand. Targeted. You got to understand. We got a lot of attention on us right now, for various different reasons. I mean, there's all sorts of different reasons why we have so much attention, and they're not liking it. No, you no, know. No, right, right. That's what they keep. You know. You know. They don't want to. They must have think that you're, you're homeless, irrational, unorganized. You know, you have no purpose. Right. Just a bunch of lolos. So, uh, but if you got clear signs stating this is why we're here, because you're saying they don't even know why they're there. It's like, well, there's signs saying they know why they're there, and you're trying to say they don't know why. Of course they know why they're there. People aren't sleeping on a pavement. Uh, when they don't have to, people don't know that why. Yeah, so the sign says, "This is why I'm sleeping in a pavement in the rain." You know, this, there's a purpose for this. I'm not just doing it, you know, because I'm crazy. You know, very rational human being. And that's the last thing they want people to realize. Right. That there are rational, intelligent people here saying this whole thing is really wrong, and something has to be done about it. Well, you know, I mean, we got. We have that, the protest has been going on now four days short, you know, I mean, we're, we're exactly six months now, and then four days short of uh, being the world's longest running encampment, uh, Occupy encampment, and then uh, we have this event that's going on, plus the future event that's happening in just a couple days is pretty big. Oh, you don't know? Uh, <laughs> Let me check with my... My scheduling secretary. I'll fill you in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. It's on my. It's on, it's on my calendar. I'm. I'm all set. Yeah. So you know, we we got we got some major events going on, and then uh, major things, and yeah, they don't know what to do. Right. So yeah, they're just guys, coming at us with. You guys are supposed to roll up your tent and go away. Right. Harassment is. Harassment is. Wear you down. Oh no! I got Divide it. and conquer. Yeah, scare you. Threaten you, do whatever they can, if you think you give up. Right. You know, so put you in jail, but that'll do it. Then that's what you do. Beating you takes up what they do to get you to give up. That's what they do. This is basic bullying. Monopoly of power. No, I'm out of here. Definitely. The monopoly of violence, actually. They have the monopoly on violence. That's it. Yeah? But that's where we win. We win with nonviolence, you know. As soon as they arrest somebody illegally and beat them or whatever, then they lose every time they do that. Yet that's how they've been trained. They've been trained to be violent, and uh, it's really hard for them to be peaceful. It's not, it's not part of the training. Package. They were trained to be violent long before prep school for, for cops, whatever that is. Oh uh, well, now the military has militarized the police force across the country, and all those, you know. Once you industrial complex, so hey man, we don't have enough wars, so let me sell a tank to a police. Department. What's a tank doing at the police? Department? Tank, tank, police department has tanks. Right. And all this other military hardware, and you know they're ready. They're ready to go to war. It's like it's a peaceful demonstration. Not one violent person here. So why are you showing up with all this riot here? <laughs> yeah. It's all. It's all intimidation. We got a guy up there. One of the PD guys using like some kind of iPad or something for a camera just filming stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody that's out there. Oh, that's the guy too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but they're here to make sure we're safe, but... Uh, <laughs> after they, yeah, they said they said they're here to make sure we're safe, but they just got done arresting one of our people because they asked a question. They, uh, one of their officers was kicking and, and pushing another occupier. Then we have the day before where they allowed DFM to use chairs to push them around and hit people, you know, but they're here to protect us. I don't trust them for protection. You know, they, they've already, they've already resorted to violence. And yeah, yeah, that's all. This whole thing is about property. It's property, money, 
It has nothing to do with human beings or people. So, you know. Well, I'm going to make my rounds, finish this off, before I run out of battery power. <laughs> So we're still in the midst of setting up, and as you can see, we got more and more people that's showing up. We got people uh, on the other end and up on the top there. So yeah, but the police are doing their job to try and scare people away. They don't want anybody coming here, and uh, you know uh, they're arresting and being abusive. So whatever it is, what it is. Well, they say they're here to protect us, to make sure everything goes good, and, uh, okay. you know, but really all they're doing is manning every entrance that would come to here, so that way they scare people from wanting right. to come to the park. How many people is usually in this park at this time, Not right? I mean, oh, there's usually some. I mean, they're usually all the way around. Yeah, dogs, parks. Yeah. So, the did you tell them that we didn't need their services? Yeah, but they, they, they're here to protect us, even though they... they used physical violence yesterday, they allowed DFN to use physical violence, you know, on the raid before that, and they have arrested one of our people today. Yeah, yeah, no, this is... So, you know, this is, these are the people we're supposed to trust. But. Right, right, fucking pig. <laughs> you're on, you're on Ustream, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hi, Ustream. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut this out, guys. I'll talk to you